Believe it or not, life as a medieval peasant wasn't actually that bad. Nah, I'm just kidding. It sucked pretty bad. But what did they actually do? And what did their day-to-day -day lives actually encompass? Peasants made up around 85% of the medieval population, and much like today, supported the other 15%, most commonly through their agricultural work and taxes. As a peasant, you owned nearly nothing, and definitely not any land which meant more often than not you were bound to working on a nobleman's land simply to survive. This type of peasant was named villains, which meant they took an oath swearing obedience to both the Bible and their lord, meaning that the peasants, already under a strict legal code, had to ask their lord for permission if they wanted to move or get married. Interestingly enough, this also meant that if the land was sold or the lord died, much like their belongings, the peasants too were transferred over to the next lord. And what did they get in return? The right to farm the lord's land essentially for the lord, as a percentage of what the peasants farmed was given back to the lord. If faced with a poor harvest, the peasants faced starvation. This alone found the peasants in a struggle for survival, amongst the other looming medieval threats. But what were these other threats? The medieval era was immensely unsanitary, with disease running rampant, and with little to no protection available or way of preventing these diseases accessible to the common people, they were frequently put at heightened risk. Not to forget the wild animals roaming, or waste meat being thrown into the streets. Additionally, as a peasant, you weren't enjoying the luxuries of frequent cleaning. Well, usually not at all. This, paired with around 85% of the population sharing these burdens, meant simply existing put you at risk. Which was seen extensively with the likes of the Black Plague. By simply looking at the numbers, you are able to understand the extent and severity of these issues. We have now covered the roles medieval peasants were expected to take. But what did their working days and lives actually look like? Work days during the summer months often found peasants waking up as early as 3 a.m. and finishing at dusk, farming crops to the likes of rye, oats, and barley, working alone on their assigned strips or collectively for larger tasks such as plowing or haying. However, their jobs stretched past the farm, as peasants were expected to carry out maintenance jobs as well, such as building roads, thatching, or clearing forests. It should be noted, however, that there were peasants with many other occupations as well, such as blacksmiths or carpenters. For peasants, their numbered days off consisted of church feasts, which consisted of large meals and social gatherings, which were relatively scarce for medieval peasants. These feasts were probably all right, until they realized they also had to work on the church's land for free. However, this may make you wonder, what did medieval peasants eat? Medieval peasants' diets were made up of almost exclusively what they farmed, often containing dark bread, grain soup, and rarely meat. However, on the potential upside, they drank ale in place of water, as it was frequently contaminated. As far as for clothing, peasants often wore tunics, trousers, and dresses made from coarse wool or linen, often with leather shoes. For accommodations, peasants usually lived in small villages, usually around 12 families, with the houses consisting of one or two rooms, with houses being made from wooden frames filled with a mixture of mud and straw topped with a thatch roof with little for interior decorations. However, despite their small size, these houses would usually be home to both the family and the family's animals. As far as education in the era, it was already relatively scarce, which meant that as a peasant, it was zero. Meaning as a child, assuming you survived past birth, you were expected to learn the essential traits for survival from your father or mother. The work of medieval peasants sounds grueling, but what could make it worse? Probably the fact that they had to pay to rent the land from their lord, Yes, on top of giving up some of their own harvest, and a tax to the church, of essentially 10% of their crops. Yes, the same churches that they had to work on for free. And despite peasants facing the risk of famine, churches collected so much grain that they needed to build specific barns, called tithe barns. Sure, you could try tax evasion, but even the king knew how much you owed, thanks to a book rightly named the Domesday Book. Anyways, that concludes this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, Comment what you think about being a medieval peasant, and subscribe for future content.